chance to get in there and uh, get some reps, you know, did a great job. So I'm really pleased with the effort, you know, that, that was shown today in practice. And, you know, it's the first day, you know, but if we can bottle that up and uh, bring it out for the next, you know, 13, 14 practices, then we, we should be pretty good, you know, at the end of spring. Over those practices, what's the biggest thing you want to impart upon your, your group and get them to pick up as you head out of spring? Well, the biggest thing defensively is that we, we just have to develop players. You know, you want to develop players. It's a long season, and you need every guy that can play. You need them to be able to play. So we want to just develop players. We want to make every player the best that they can be at the end of spring. And I think if we do that, then we'll be, you know, in a, in a great position. How does your philosophy with what you like to do with the defensive backs, I guess, mesh with what Lorenzo Ward was doing uh, previously? Right. I, actually, we're, we're on the same page, you know, and uh, obviously the story is out that he's known me for a while. And, I mean, we've talked football over the years, and we're definitely on the same page. And I think the biggest thing at the end of the day is that football still comes back to knowing your assignment and making tackles chasing the ball. That's what you got to do on defense. So I don't care if it's me, uh, Coach Ward, uh, you know, someone in the NFL. At the end of the day, your guys have to know their assignment. They have to chase the football and they have to tackle well. So uh, those are the fundamentals really, you know, playing well on the back end. So uh, Coach Ward and I are on the same page. And uh, I mean, it went well today and I'm just excited, you know, to get back out here on Thursday. Without, without a keen practice, who's, who's one of the ones the cornerbacks? Uh, with the King being out running with the ones, you had Jimmy uh, playing to the uh, field, and you had uh, Vic playing to the boundary. And uh, but uh, but again, I'd imagine all those guys have got you know equal reps today. So uh, again, I mean it's a long season, you know injuries and things happen. We just want to get as many reps with as many guys as possible. Are you expecting King with the practice at all this spring? Or you know, come back later, later? I'm not sure right now. You know with with the you know with really any position, you know your, your will. You know, are, are most important. So we definitely want to make sure that he's in the best position to be healthy. You know, when we go play Bandy, you know, Thursday night in uh, August. So uh, right now, we need him to be healthy. So whether or not he'll practice this spring or, or you know, fall camp, I'm really not sure. Just really focusing on getting him healthy. Right now. What are your early impressions of Victor last year? You know, I know that uh, Coach Johnson, Coach Wilson. I mean, this guy's filled with loads of talent. Right. Sometimes didn't always make the best decisions off the field. But well, certainly on the field, he's looked like he had plenty of ability. Right. I like Victor. I like Victor. I like him a lot. I think he's a good person. I think he's just a young player. I think we all made mistakes when we were young. And uh, But I think in a, he's a good person. I believe that he's a good person. I'm excited to mentor him through life and through football. And uh, I think the football, you know, speaks for itself. He, he's one of the one of the uh, most talented guys, you know, I've been around in a 13-year career. So sky's the limit for him, and I think he'll be just fine. Right now, where are the 